Hi, I'm Nicole Petchy. I live in Cape Town and this is my sister. Hi, I'm Maya. Maya. Yeah. So Maya, are you enjoying Bloemfontein? Yeah, it's really nice here because there's a lot, lots of stuff to do. And it's not too hot for you? No. No. It's not too hot. Yeah. So guys, uh, you come from Cape Town. You two sisters, very unusual to have two sisters playing in national tournaments. Do you give each other support? We do and we can. It's tough because we're playing at different venues, but when possible, yes, we do. I get more nervous for her, though, than me. <laughs> and, and what do you say about watching your sister? No, I get way more nervous than playing for me. Well, I don't know if you give each other support then, but anyway. <laughs> we sounds, try. It, it, it sounds pretty good. You know, it, it, the, 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 the Petchy girls uh, come from a good tennis pedigree. Mark Petchy, uh, former ATP professional and uh, a Davis Cup player for Great Britain, is uh, your dad. He's a commentator, um, international tennis uh, television commentator. Obviously, that was a big uh, influence on you starting to play tennis and when did you start playing yeah, tennis? Yeah, I started playing tennis, well I've been playing for as long as I can remember but I think it was when I was about four or five but I've been surrounded by tennis since I was young, like a little baby. And, and, and is your dad very encouraging being a, a, a former tennis professional? Yeah, it helps us, I think it helps me loads because he talks about like from his personal experience so it's not just someone telling us things but they haven't actually been there so it helps a lot. And uh, for you, does your dad ever give you some good tips and have, have they ever worked? Um, he gives us a lot of good tips and he's really encouraging when we're playing. He doesn't really get angry that much because he knows <laughs> we've always tried our hardest. Now when you're watching TV and you're hearing him commentate, how do you feel listening to your dad speak about you know, tennis on, on the box? Uh, it's, we don't always hear him that much because he only does it for England, for Sky, but when we do hear him, it's very weird because he's like on TV yeah. and we and, and, and do you think he's good? Yeah, I think he's good. Okay, yeah. cool. And, and what do you think about your dad's commentary? He's good when we hear him, but we don't often hear him. That's I cool. like listening to him though, it's strange. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me something, when did you start playing tennis? and, 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 and did you really, really want to play tennis or was there any other sports that you wanted to play? Um, I also started around four or five and I don't think I was very keen that I can remember on, on tennis, but yeah, I did like it. Okay, cool. Now, if you look at your tennis careers, what do you think is your strongest shots? Uh, mine would be my serve and my forehand. Your serve and your forehand? Yeah. Um, backhand needs a bit of work at the moment, but yeah. So do you think that probably is your weaker shot, the backhand? Weaker, but it's, it's okay. Just my forehand's stronger than my backhand. And what is your best shot? I think my forehand is good and my serve is not very good. And what would you, what would you need to work on or get your dad to help you work on? My serve. Your serve. Okay, now let's talk about tennis players that you look up to and who you think are like heroes. Who do you think is your hero and why? Um, I love Rafael Nadal because he's always... So do 70 million other women. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter in girls. Um, okay, but why Rafael Nadal? Um, he always controls himself well on the court and he, he's always very polite to the opponents wow. and he's really good. And, 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 and uh, professional women tennis players, do you have any favourites there? Uh, I like Maria Sharapova. Reason? I don't know. She's just always so nice on the court. And cool. Yeah. Any, any, any players you look up to? Well, in the boys as well, Rafa fan. But in the girls, lately I've started liking Eugenie Bouchard because mm -hmm. I like the way she plays on the court, like how she attacks everything, and she's strong mentally as well. That's cool. Okay, so now what we're going to talk about is if someone had to come up to you and say, I want to be like you one day as a tennis player, what would your advice be to that person? Um, what do you do that's right to make you such a good tennis player? Well, tennis is quite a mental game, so you've just got to control yourself and if you make a bad shot, just keep saying, I can do this, it's okay, next point. And, yeah. Good answer, good answer. What would you say to any aspiring young 
future star that looks up. I'd also say keep going, keep trying your best and it will come right, even if it doesn't feel like it will. And um, on the court, just yeah, always keep calm and compose yourself. So dad comes from England, mom comes yeah. from Zimbabwe and you live in South Africa. Yes. <laughs> Which is your best, Zimbabwe, England or South Africa? Um, I like South Africa the best because it's a really nice upbringing here, and you can and yeah, you can always there's always sunshine. And ah, there we had to come. <laughs> yeah. In. And for you? Yeah, also Cape Town. I love it. It's compared to England, it's amazing. Like for a child to grow up here on the beach and with all your friends. In England, it's cold and you just stay inside all the time. And Zimbabwe, I actually just went there a couple of weeks ago for the first time actually. I always hear all these stories but we went there for the first time but no, Cape Town definitely. Okay cool, thank you very much uh, Petchy Girls, Thanks. sisters and we will see you on YouTube.